Well, welcome again to another podcast, Down to Earth but Heavenly Minded. I'm your host, Irv Risch, and now for another episode. Well, today on our podcast, I'm going to talk about yesterday. Uh, yesterday was the Lord's Day, and uh, I had prepared myself to go to worship yesterday, and uh, my thoughts were on a book I had read uh, the prior week, which was uh, The Lord from Heaven. Uh, it, it was by uh, Sir Robert Anderson, and uh, some of the things he had said in the book were kind of on my mind, so as I went to worship, I, I had uh, picked out five verses in scripture that I was going to share along with uh, the subject of the Lord from heaven. Well, it turned out that uh, a young man at an open worship opened with one of my scriptures. He actually opened with Philippians 2, uh, verses 6 through 8, and they read, who though he, Jesus, was in the form of God, did not count equality with God to be a thing to be grasped, uh, but emptying himself uh, by taking a form of a servant, being born in the likeness of man, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Well, I figured so be it, so I'll just share my other four verses. Well, the next fella got up <laughs> to share, and, and the reason I'm talking about this is because I want you to see the spontaneousness of worship. The next fella, the next brother that got up, shared my next scripture, which was uh, Hebrews 1, verses 3 and 4. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the words of his power. After making purifications for sin, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has and inherited is more excellent than theirs. So I finally got a chance to get up and I, I figured, well, I would share the next scripture, which was 1 Corinthians 15 verses 17 through 19. The first man was from heaven, or I'm sorry, the first man was from earth a man of the dust. The second man is from heaven, uh, as was the man of dust, so are those who are of the dust, that's us. And as a man of heaven, so also are those who are from heaven. If you're in Christ, you're a man from heaven. Just as we have bore the image of the man of dust, uh, we shall also bear the image of the man of heaven. Well, I wanted to share more, but I went back to the very first verse, the opening verse, because I, I said it went right along with it, and I shared again Philippians 2, verses 6 through 8, you know, of God, of the Lord being in the, uh, the form of God did not count himself uh, equal with God. Well, after I got done talking, uh, and I talked for a while, so I didn't share any more scripture. But I really had two more scriptures to share. And, uh, well, I let it go with that. <laughs> uh and when I went, I sat down, the next guy got up, 
and he shared another scripture that I was going to share and talked about it, which went right along with what I was talking about. And that was out of uh, Colossians 1, verses uh, uh, 15 through 17. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in all and in him all things are held together. We include it. Well, that went right along with what I was saying. Well, as the worship proceeded, someone got up and thanked the Lord for the the bread. And uh then I got up. And I thank the Lord for the cup. And I shared the last scripture that I had. And it was in first John, I'm sorry, in John 1, 4. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld the glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, for the grace and truth. This was the Lord from heaven. The whole theme for the worship seemed to flow. And I, I believe that uh, if, we, if we designate things, uh, play this song at this time, this man shares this message, just, we quench the Holy Spirit. Everything in worship should be spontaneous. It should be from our hearts. God wants our hearts. He wants our worship. The Father seeks such to worship him in spirit and in truth. In spirit, we have to be directed by the spirit to worship. And in truth, it has to be according to the word of God. That's the only truth. You know, I can share things, but a lot of times... There, it might not be fully true. You know, I share stories once in a while, uh, but I don't get all the facts straight. So it might not be true to the letter, but the, uh, the intent of my heart is in worship when I allow the Spirit of God to direct my worship. Well, that's kind of what I had to share with you this morning about uh, worship and allowing the Spirit of God to flow in our worship. That's why I am against a one-man minister that directs everything. That's, that's not the way God wanted it. If you look at the scriptures, how we are to uh, fellowship and gather around the Lord, it's he should be the center, not any man. And uh, that's how our, our worship should go. Uh, and as far as music goes, a lot of times uh, somebody will, uh, you know, we got a couple of piano players and once in a while, one of the piano players will, will come in a little earlier. And while everybody is coming into the chapel, she's playing music, playing hymns. And some of those hymns, we know almost word for word because we've sing them so much. And a lot of times it'll put a thought in our hearts to worship the Lord. So our music, our messages, and everything should be directed to the Lord. The, the Holy Spirit is doing that. It's He's pointing us to Christ. He's pointing us away from other things and pointing us to Christ. So if we're sitting there and allowing the spirit to direct our worship, it will be spirit filled and it will be in truth. Well, that's enough for today. Lord bless. And till next time, bye for now.
Well, thank you again for joining me in another one of my podcasts. Until next time, just remember God is out here. You can find out all about him in your Bible. Just pick it up and read it. God bless. Bye for now.